engaged Wade Middleton is meeting up with his longtime buddy, Chris Clarkson, for some good old fashioned pond fishing. I first met Chris back in the mid 90s. He was a high school kid that showed up out of Triple Seven Ranch, wanted to be a fishing and, and hunting guide. And so we kind of bonded pretty quick. We both loved to hunt, we both loved to fish, and we've maintained that relationship for a long time. So when we get a chance to go fishing or get a chance to go hunting, we try to make the most of it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Look at all those fish. A little better. Yeah, see, he's, he's a little longer. Fishing's supposed to be fun, and this is about as fun as it can get. <laughs> I think we call this catching, right? Yeah, this isn't fishing, this is catching. Once Wade and Chris had their fill of catching small fish from the boat, they decided to make their way over to another pond in hopes of bigger bites on top water. It's always hilarious to me to watch the direction people take off when you go fish a pond. You know, one guy's gonna run down the dam, one guy's gonna run towards the creek, one guy's gonna run towards the flooded vegetation. And in this case here, I took off down that way with Gentry and Chris took off down the dam with Kevin. And it was just, I mean, pretty much, you know, when you got around them, there was something ready to bite pretty fast. Chris is on an anchor lock. He's just sitting there and watching. <laughs> Power poles are down. Power poles down. See, he's still anchor locked down. <laughs> Not taking a step until they stop biting. That's awesome. He's off anchor lock though. I, I moved a step. <laughs> Let the wind drift you down. Yes. Grass all in his face. You chose wrong, Wade. Do what? Yeah, so far. It was pretty apparent that Chris's local knowledge of the ponds was a huge advantage. I should have been following right behind him because he would go to the sweet spot right away. And this one pond that we went to had a dock and an aeration system out in the middle of it. And I kind of, I, I went to the dam this time. He went to the dock and I mean, he was catching them literally every other cast right there. So it didn't take me long to head back down that dam and, and you know, follow Chris. He's done this a long time. I think I taught him pretty well. He might have me in weight on that one. I think I got you. Oh. Doesn't count. <laughs> Mine's going back in. I'm working on my 12 pound limit. Yeah. I wonder what, the, what it is over there. Maybe there's a brush pile. I just think they're stacked, stacked up on that drop off off the side of these feeders in the aerator. Healthiest water in the lake, probably. You know, when you have aeration in any body of water and you get into the late summer and warm weather, you know, that just creates some of the best places for a fish. It's a nutrient rich area, it's oxygenated. Uh, it's not gonna be as dead as you're gonna find, for lack of a better word, on the other end of a body of water. And, and so if you ever get a chance to fish a pond that's got aeration systems around it, somewhere nearby, there's gonna be something ready to buy. That might be a better one. You short line me though. Nope. He's still bitter, bigger. The amount of fish is ridiculous. I mean, I have, you know, I love to go fish a pond. To me, it's just, it's fun. And this is what you dream about being in a pond, but I don't understand this one. <laughs> so. I mean, being a kid, this is what we all started yeah. doing. And it's still just as much fun as Absolutely. when I was eight. <laughs> you can never underestimate the value of the thump. Right. The thump. I mean, it's, it's, it is still this, to this day just gets my blood pumping. When you're fishing a pond, you can keep it pretty simple. You don't have to overthink fishing a pond. Soft plastics are always going to be key, especially weightless ones. A frog of some kind, a popping frog. I was throwing the flapping frog on this one here. Something that you know you can throw over the slop. A spinner bait. I mean, you can never go wrong with spinner bait. I mean, spinner bait's been around as long as it seems like bass fishing, and, and they still produce. So don't overthink it. Keep it simple. Grab one or two rods. Carry a couple of baits in your pocket or a little tackle box, and and just go enjoy pond fishing. You know, when Chris and I get get a chance to go do something like this, it you know takes us back when. I had no gray hair, I was a lot younger, and he was just still a little kid in high school.